Wow, look at this thing. It's finally done. Got it all assembled. All in shiny black. Murdered out. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be assembling the 402 big block. Uh, we're going to start by installing the camshaft and degreeing it in and then we're just going to go on to slapping the, all the gaskets on it, uh, timing set, and uh, just start the full assembly today. So going to not really get into too much uh, technical aspects to the build but uh, I'll just keep you guys uh, in the background and you can kind of see us uh, work around the engine and do our thing. So let's get into it. So I got the short block pretty well cleaned up. Cleaned up the tops of the pistons because these were slightly used, but they are definitely newer. You guys can see that uh, they got the 60 over punched in on top of the pistons. So this thing's been bored. It's actually a 413. Did a little research on what a 402 is, bored out, 60 over. Everything comes back to around 413 cubic inches. And uh, we got a really nice bump stick for it. Finally got all my valve train in after waiting forever. The stuff, a lot of the stuff's on back order, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced. But uh, completely excited about everything I got. Give you guys some specs there and what's going in and we've got it all timing set cam we've got gasket sets balancers i got all the new valve train push rods we got roller tip rockers springs we've got everything retainers seals for the heads just the whole kit ready to go so you guys are going to see this thing come together finally and hopefully we'll get this thing wrapped up this weekend in early next week and this thing will be all painted up and assembled and pretty much ready to drop in the nova so make sure you guys stay tuned and watch this thing fire up and that nova is going to have a big block in it soon so let's get into the assembly
All right, so we got the camshaft installed. We got the timing set on. We got everything timed right. We got the cam degreed. So that's gonna be the end of today. We're gonna hit it up again tomorrow. Try to get all the covers on, the heads, the everything else, and just try to get this thing pretty much together by tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's the next day, and today we're gonna go ahead and change out all 16 valve springs. And these springs are the ones that were matched to the camshaft that came in the comp cams kit. And uh, they are safe to use for the 550 lift. And so we're just going to go ahead and get them all changed out.
so I assembled this head with all my springs and valve stem seals and everything before and then we, I did some research and found out that I completely installed the valve stem seals incorrectly. They don't, these are the Viton seals and they don't actually fit over stock big block Chevy valve guides. You actually have to machine down the guides to fit Viton seals and also uh, double springs. Because stock umbrella seals I found out the hard way don't fit double springs because they're too large. So I'm having to uh, redo this whole head, actually both heads, all the springs got to come back off and I actually have to machine down all these guides right here because they are too big and too tall to run a high lift cam. So did a lot of research online and found out that, yeah, I messed up and got to redo all of it. But at least I caught it before I tried to run it because I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought that the Viton seals kind of just sat over the, the valve guide and kept oil from going in, but I was way wrong. So we are going to redo all of them. I did buy the correct comp cams drill bit and everything to machine it down so that the Viton seal fits perfectly over the valve guide. So that is what we're gonna finish doing and uh, you guys will get to see the whole process. So that is what I'm trying to accomplish. So let's try to wrap it up. All right, so this is the tool that you have to use to shave down your valve stem guides. Uh, Comp Cam sells it. And it's a two piece tool and you actually have to order the pieces separately. Let me see if I can get that in focus for you. And I'll show you the package. It has a much clearer part number on it. And you have to actually order the the drill bit part separately from the cutter head and they just kind of slide together because there's different size uh, depending on your valve stem size this is a 3 8 for big block Chevy and it just slides together and this part of course will slide down in the valve stem guide and this is the cutting bit that's going to shave it down and it just has a set screw on it to hold it on pretty slick little piece I'll show you guys the part numbers here's the package comp cams and is literally for doing this job exactly valve guide cutter for five hundred thousandths which is what size the the comp cams valve bite and valve stem seals are for the big block chevy 514-16 i ordered all new seals because obviously i put the other ones on wrong and damaged them putting them on and then this is the part number for the, uh, like I said, the drill bit part. And you do have to order the, because they make these in different sizes for different cylinder heads. And, uh, yep, so I've got all three pieces and should be able to shave this down. And I'll show you guys how that works too.
So you guys can see the difference in height from the stock valve stem guide and the shaved down Viton modified guide. It's quite a bit of difference. I'd say it's close to a half inch, if not more, that you're shaving it down. And I'm not really positive on how far you're supposed to shave it down. I just tried to be consistent across all eight of them. So, and I, I based this on some other videos that I've watched other guys do it. So they left about a quarter inch or a little less of shoulder material on the head. And that's about what I did. So I got all eight of them done, took me about a half hour to do all eight. And after I measured them all, they were all just around a five millimeter base of stock valve guide material left. And it turned out pretty good. And you guys can kind of see how it creates a perfect seat for the new Viton valve stem seal. Seat right down in there, nice and tight and seal off all the oil from getting it down into the combustion chamber. And uh, I just recommend being extremely clean when you do this. Just clean up, vacuum all your shavings as you go so you don't have an overwhelming amount of metal shavings. And then obviously you want to blow the head out and clean it extremely well before you reassemble the engine. There's a lot of metal shavings that comes off of it. But uh, yeah. Very happy with the results. It was super easy. The cutter head cut all eight of them effortlessly. And I gotta do the other head still, but this thing, it just, it feels as good as it was when I started. It's very sharp. Definitely a nice trick tool. And the reason I'm doing the video is because I didn't find, when I ordered my comp cams valve train kit there was no information on doing this to stock cast iron heads and I ended up finding a video on YouTube of course from Auto Tech Nick you guys should check out his website or his YouTube channel it's got a lot of knowledgeable big block Chevy build tips on there so I just got to give credit to Auto Tech Nick for showing me exactly how to do this before I did it so you guys go over there and check his channel out too.
right, so we got all the valve guides ground down. We got all the springs, Viton seals, everything reassembled. Probably took me about, I don't know, hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours total to do the whole thing. Disassembly, the grind down, and reassembly. So it really wasn't bad at all. So if you guys are looking to have to do this yourself, it's really not a bad job. And I've never done this before. It was my first time, and it was pretty straightforward. And uh, I feel like it went well, and now I completely understand how the valve stem seals have to seal over a, a machined shoulder to seal properly. So it was definitely a learning experience on my part. All right, so, so now we're going to finally get to start assembling the top end of the motor. And it's going to start by putting the heads on. We'll get them uh, torqued down with the ARP hardware. And then we'll move into doing the valve train. So installing the push rods, lifters, rocker arms, and get all that adjusted. I'm just trying to get the block cleaned up right now and get any kind of grease off of it in preparation for the paint. So I'm going to go ahead and take the orange off this big block Chevy, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to complain about, but it's, uh, it's getting sprayed black.
upgrading the push ride guides, the ones that were on these heads were really thin and flimsy. You can see the difference in the ones I'm putting back on. And on top of that, you can also see the difference in the push rod size. This is 5 16 and the new push rods I ordered are 7 6 or I'm sorry, 3 8 So these are upgraded to clear the new push rods. But a big difference in thickness on these. Look at this thing it's finally done got it all assembled all in shiny black murdered out i love the look i've never painted an engine all black like this the valve covers pretty much inspired me to do the whole engine satin and i'm definitely happy with the outcome looks evil so motor is completely back together ready to drop into the nova and you guys are going to see that soon. Hopefully this weekend I'll be putting it in and shooting the install video. Can't believe it's finally done. And it looks amazing. going to wrap up this engine assembly video hope you guys liked it if you did give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to watch this thing get put into the Novo and ran which should be soon so make sure you follow and drop your comments down below on what you guys think about the engine and what it's going to be like in the Nova I'd love to hear about what you guys think and this is going to wrap it up so I'll see you guys on the next video later